What's going on, my man? Just trying to recover, man, from all that hype. So wait, is it Tobler or Tobler? Tobler. Tobler. Okay. Yeah. Oh, now, good. I was just saying, man, you guys built that fight. I mean, you and Bill were like, woof, good job. Is Matt going to send me a check? I need that check. They should. Bill need to give me some of that check he got. <laughs> they should. Tell Bill, tell Bill to cut me, 20, cut me 30K of that check. <laughs> I'm going to tell him. I'm going to tell him. I, I, I'll take 30. <laughs> um, so how you feeling after that after that fight? Oh, man, I'm gonna tell you, I um, I feel I'm 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 kind of I'm kind of I'm kind of I'm drained, like I'm emotionally drained. I I I felt like I was in the ring. I felt like I was I was fighting Devin Haney. I felt like I was taking the punches. Um, I don't know if anyone can ex can really explain the uh, the emotional roller coaster that that uh, that a uh, that a uh, a coach like myself who's so invested into the to the fighter how that it takes you up on an emotional roller coaster and to to get to the fight and kind of just keep everything on an even keel. Mm. It's very, very difficult. Even myself as an athlete, after going to like a competition, competing with the best in the world every other every other weekend, it takes a toll on you. When I say toll, I mean it, it takes a lot out of you. Yeah. And the fight, 16,000, it probably was more people in that building than, I don't know, 16,000 people screaming um, to leave that arena and the, my flight left at 7.30 in the morning. Damn. So how do you come from that? Yeah. To, to the airport to get on the on a fucking plane. Right. And right. then then get here and then I come to my place and it's silence. Mm, right. So it's like the, you know, Shaquille O'Neal now, and I'll explain why this matters. I'll tie it together. He does DJing now. Do you know that? Shaquille O'Neal's a DJ now? Yeah, yeah. Right. So he explained saying that his whole life, since he was basically in junior high school, he hears oh, all these people roaring at him. And then when he retires, it's gone. Yes. So he wanted to recreate that, which is like kind of what you're saying, and not go into his quiet home. And he just goes and yeah. DJs to get that, that, that rush all the time. Yeah. I, I, it's a and I, I mean, I, I, I was telling people years and years. I played in the season with the Denver Broncos back in '91, I think it was. Oh, okay. My, my first time coming out the tunnel to play at Mile High Stadium. Oh my God, it was it was electrifying. I mean, we we had the real old Mile High Stadium, and to hear that crowd and to to be. On the field, in the middle. If you get caught looking, you feel like an ant, and you you really can't perform like that. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm wow. You know, I mean, like, like that, man. It was eighteen, sixteen thousand people. Crazy. And I honestly, I had a, I had a great time. The, those Bay Area fans are ruthless, bro. They like, they like the Raider fans. They like. Philadelphia Eagle fans, they was on my ass, but that was a part of the a part of the deal. You would get in there, and you know I'm rooting for my guy only. And uh, man, I I I, I shout out to Bay Area fans who came out and supported the event. It was electrifying. They stood up for Devin Haney, and you know the young champion. He stood up, man. He stood up on all the all the verbal pressure that I wanted to put him under. I I was I was really really pushing to get under his skin and you know it worked i had i had him doing a rope though but he and he and his father they 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 work good together man you, it's yeah. hard to, you know a champion like that i mean so yeah. the, the one thing i saw so regis had in the past had the tendency to maybe stand upright right but this fight he came out he was not doing that at all 
Yeah. He was chin was tucked. He was his body looked very different. What do you think was the reason why the fight didn't go his way? I don't know. I mean, I'm not the boxing coach. I my I do his conditioning. I don't tell him how to throw punches. I just make sure he can last 12 rounds. And my my preparation for him was to go for 30 for 66 minutes, not 36 minutes. So conditioning, I think he was fine. But you know, we as trainers, we don't know what the fighters or athletes are thinking when they're in the heat of the moment. He was in a moment. And, you know, sometimes you win and sometimes you lose. And this is one of those fights where, you know, I don't know what he was thinking. I wasn't in giving him instructions in front of him, but I was pushing the whole entire time for Regis Probray, which is who I was there for. And I wanted him to win. It just didn't go his way. All the strategizing for boxing, you know, we have people on our team. We do different things for the champion. And, you know, I think I think those are questions that they could answer. I can't really answer those questions. I, I wanted him to win the fight. I wanted him to do a lot of things. But, you know, right. he has, they have protocol that they follow boxing coach, fighter. And, you know, it didn't it didn't go their way. So, right right yeah i mean yeah it was it was you know devin showed more than people thought he would show as well right you, you i mean were you surprised at what I, devin I, showed honestly i wasn't i wasn't surprised because i knew the young champion was a great mover he was a fucking great, great boxer you know and if, if, in my mind i want i want to jump on him but that's the fighter. That's that's the fighter. You know, we could say what we want, but the fighter they see different things while you're in the ring. So I don't know. I mean, I think Devin Haney is 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 he has quick quick feet. His 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 reaction reaction is what surprised me. You know, you don't see fighters with that cat that cat reaction. Yeah, he has those reflexes and. I saw that. I mean, I'm sitting there on the side. It's different when you watch it from the stands. But when you're right there in the action, you know, he he got those cat reflexes, you know, which is good for, for, for a fighter like, like Haney. And, um, you know, not, not taking nothing away from the kid. He, he, is what is, he is a good boxer. Do I think he could be? You know, I'm always thinking he could be. He's going to have to be stronger. If he's going to go up to 47, physically stronger. I think he could. I think he could be stronger. You know, um, I met. I met. I met a strength coach. I think. I mean, I'm sure they'll come up with the plan to to do what they have to do. But yeah. you know, shout out to great a great uh, game plan, and it worked in their favor. And the young champion kept his composure. You know, even being <laughs> with me trying to rattle him away from what I think I knew he was going to do. I I knew he. I told him he was going to be a track meet. You know, yeah. I, when I, but when he came to the center of the ring, I thought he was going to go and going to go to a fight. You know, yeah. I thought going to a fight, which would have been, it would have been to the, it would have been the end. You know, but yeah. I mean, every time Regis would get set to throw, Devin would would hit him and and just fuck up, mess up his rhythm. That's what, it, and, and then move and keep moving. You know, the whole fight. Um. And Regis just it seemed like he just couldn't get to him. You know, he was trying. He, and, yeah. you know, you did your job because he didn't look tired at all. At all. Yeah. They, they, you know, it's like I said, man, when you, when you, uh, when you are the athlete, when you're the one in that, in that square circle, you see shit. Coaches see stuff too. But it's, you know, once you get out there, it's a different ball game, man. And I, hats off to Regis. You know, he, 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 he weathered the storm. He, he, he finished. He finished strong, and I believe he'll come back and and be a three-time champion again. That's what he said he's going to do. And in the past, he said he wanted to do something, and he was two-time champion. So I believe he will make another comeback, and then we'll see what happens after that. But right now, you know, everybody's kind of. I'm still. I'm still high, man. I'm still high off that. I I, I, I don't even have a fucking appetite, you know. I'm just. That was a I'm lot, right? Crazy, man. And 
all the media, all the all the fans, all that, all that stuff. You, you while you're in it, you're living in it, you and you're breathing that. Shit. You're, you're eating, sleeping it. But when it's all over, you come to to to. I'm in, I'm in, I'm in my in my in my apartment building, and I'm in a lounge, and it's like no one's around. It's just me, and my thoughts. You know what I'm saying? And I'm like, man, I need I I I need to get to get to something. But you it's, know. A, it's like a high. You're like chasing the next high. Yeah, I'm. I'm. I'm like, I wanna. I wanna relax, but I'm, but, but my drilling, my drilling is just going, man. It's just like crazy. Still. Yeah. Yeah. I haven't. I haven't settled in, and I've been up since since five o'clock. Wow. Wow. You know, I had an early wow. one flying at six, and then wow. I went, I went to eat breakfast with another one of my fighters. And um, be, on the look, be on the lookout for Jericho Walton. He's coming back. Hands of stone. Okay. 17 right. one. We lost. We lost to uh, 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 Montana Love some years ago. Montana Love just didn't do that well, unfortunately for him. Didn't do that well. I don't know. I think sometimes when fighters, Montana has all that. He has all that talent. But I think sometimes you need a little more discipline, and you know. It's, is what it is. I mean, Regis handled the loss so well. You know, that's one thing I said, man. I, I really, I really, really admire the way he handled it, what he said, the way he carried himself. I mean, was that how he was? Well, after let me the fight? tell you something. What people don't know about about the champ, Regis, Regis is truly like what I say, real fucking athlete. And you're not you're not gonna tell him to to shy away from from anything. And you 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 tell me any champion like that that can get out there, perform at this level for a long, long time, and to own his shit, to to be able to own your 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 ability, your athletic ups and downs, and 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 be honest about it, is is never really done. And that's why I like working with the kid because. He's gonna tell you the truth, whether you, you know, whether the public like it or not. And sometimes he's not like, man, fuck, don't say that. No. If it happens to him, he'll tell you. And and how many champions are willing to do that? You know, it, it might it might also be an age thing. Like I'm, I was talking Zab Jude is a friend of mine and we were talking about when he first lost to uh, Costa Zoo and he literally wanted to fight everybody in the ring, but he was like twenty years old. But Regis was what, thirty four? He's 34, yeah. So yeah. I think, right, there might be a level of maturity that comes with the age as well, that maybe if Regis took this loss at 20, he would have reacted differently. Well, no, he, he's, he's, he's always been that honest. Yeah. His ability, his, 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 his outcome, you know, um, even in a, in, a, in a Taylor fight, even when the, with, the, uh, with the last fight, he, you know, he's going to tell you he's just that, he's just that type of kid, you know, and I think the people around him make, you know, you, you have no choice with people telling you the truth. You know, like I always say, the, the truth is freedom. You can only get better if you're honest with yourself and you know where you want to go, you will get better. And we just started boxing at 16. So we, we on real, he still has upsides. You yeah. know, I, I still think he, you know, it's up to him, but he has a lot. He still has a lot left in him, and he right. can earn a lot more. Right. People don't realize that that why that matters is you know because I, I started boxing at thirteen, but the mileage when you have less mileage, then you can fight as you're older. And I think when you're older, and if you have less mileage, you can be a greater a champion with more longevity because you have the experience in this at an older age and less mileage, so you actually have an advantage. Yeah, I mean, look, look how long Bernard Hopkins lasts in the sport, you know, and and Regis still have, has dynamite in both hands. So, I believe he's going to take time off and do some things with his friend. What's up, my team? Shout out to Declan, the best nutritionist on the planet. Raquel, Regis' wife, I saw you on there, man. You know, we got this people. You you know, he's just not fighting for himself. It's a whole team of people, you know, and that's a lot of pressure sometimes for young. To me, he, you know, he like my son. He, he a kid to me, you know. <laughs> but the bottom line is, I believe, uh, I believe he'll make a comeback, and 
Um, you know, it won't be no shock to me because I already know what he could do. The world is always surprised about things. I'm not surprised about the things that he do because I right. can't get right. for and I, know it, oh, I think it shows a lot about Regis because with this win, now people are catapulting Devin into like one of the greatest and, and that shows you how important the win over Regis and how good Regis actually is because they're, you know, the win over him makes him so great. Well, I mean, yeah, I mean, you, you just, you just, you just got a decision over a two-time world champion. I mean, what a platform to, to, to take over. But you know, we'll see what we'll see where Haney goes after this, and we'll 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 come back and we'll regain another belt, wherever that belt may be. If Regis said he's gonna do it, he gonna do it. <laughs> he, do you know? Do you know who he wants to fight? Is is it even talked about who he might want to fight next? I don't know, but he 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 he's fought everybody. He he don't, he hasn't shied away from anyone. Right. So somebody call him out and he want to fight him. Shit, he gonna fight him. He fought. He even fought all the everybody that said they want to fight Regis. He fought him. He right. ain't duck nobody. You know, people been ducking him like when we were were even Ramirez. Ramirez has been ducking Regis for decades. Wouldn't that be a good fight? Yeah. You know, for, he'd been running for a long time. Even when we were mandatory, they let Ramirez run. And, you know, we just had to face his mandatories. Right. So, I mean, I, I don't see him shying away from no one. Sometimes, you know, you, you fight his pick who they want. He don't give a shit. He don't give a fuck who he fight. He yeah. will fight. Yeah, he, he might be risky fight, you know, because other guys don't want to risk the power. And you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, I think I think everybody is risky at this at this level. Everybody can fight at this level, but yeah, he possesses something a lot of fighters don't possess, which is those heavy hands, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, you know, as I said before, man, you you guys did such a tremendous job in building the fight. You guys are both marketing wizards, both of you, because you know, like I could tell that you guys didn't hate each other and that you were building the fight, but. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like, and you did it re re respectfully for yes. the most part. You know what I mean? But you still did it to where it was entertaining and it was, it was good shit. Yeah, I I enjoyed that, man. I enjoyed, I enjoyed all of this. And to be up close and look into a fighter's eyes and to see if we can find a little weakness. And, you know, I don't think no one is weak at this level, but I do still believe that you can, you can rattle uh, uh, someone's uh, emotions and, and how they're going to approach the fight. And uh, I thought we had Haney doing a rope a dope, but he. Guess not. <laughs> yeah. Guess <laughs> yeah. not. And so, yeah. shout, out to the, shout out to old crazy ass Bill Haney. Yeah, 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 uh, for sure. People stuff like, well, maybe you and Bill should get in the ring. I was like, man, you got me messed up. <laughs> but up there, who knows? Who knows? Shit, I, I ain't running from nothing, but. That would be something he loved. Everybody would have get me in the ring and fight me. <laughs> <laughs> Even my fighters. <laughs> all the work that I put them through, all that hard ass work. Coach, you get down here, you get the poor. It's like, nah, I had my time, bro. But yeah, exactly. Man, in the Bay Area, two of the of the two world champions going head to head. I mean, I was I was blessed, man, to be among all that action. I couldn't ask God for a better weekend or a better a better group to, 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 to work with all over these years and all the love I've seen received from all the social media boxing uh, platforms. I'm, I'm grateful. I'm thankful. I'm, I'm always available. I love this boxing, man. I love it like I love anything else. And, you know, I want to be around in the sport. And if it, if it, if I have to talk shit, I'm going to talk shit. If I have to train an athlete, I'll train an athlete, but I love it. watching you, man. Um, well, uh, thanks for talking to me, and let's uh, let's talk again after your next fight, big fight. Good to me, man. Appreciate All right, my man. Thank you.